tried to get away with doing the absolute bare minimum. You know, in college, I had to take college algebra and, and, and what I learned that if I, I found this search engine, that if I put the questions in, it would give me the answers. And I was making hundreds on all of my homework. And I was like, this is awesome. It's gonna be a piece of cake. And, and I would just find the shortcuts on every little thing. And then we'd get to the test time. And man, I was like up the creek without a paddle. I, I had nothing to show for that bare minimum of effort that I was given. You know, if we're honest, there are probably a lot of areas of our lives where we're trying to get away with doing what's just good enough, not just in school, but in our relationships and also our faith too. See, Matthew 5, we read about this. He preaches a sermon where he repeatedly says, you've heard one thing, but here's what I say instead. And this is in Matthew 5, verses 38 through 42. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn him to the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with two miles. Give to the one who begs from you and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. Jesus keeps flipping ideas on their heads just to get us to think differently about what God wants from us. One of those ideas is about how we treat each other. Just like we read, if someone asks you to walk with them for a mile, he said to walk too. Because when it comes to loving others, Jesus flips our understanding of what's good enough. And you know what? The bare minimum is not enough. We have to strive to be like Jesus and not just skimming the surface. See, skimming the surface just doesn't do it. See, we are called to love people like God loves them. So that means giving more than just enough. But giving all the love possible.